The following is a presentation of the Armstrong International Cultural Foundation. On the great windswept central plains of the Midwestern United States lies a vibrant, thriving, growing community. Over the past 20 years, Oklahoma City has transformed itself into a world-class metropolitan area. Citizens and community leaders have joined together to invest billions in revitalization projects and have thrust Oklahoma into the national and international spotlight. The Oklahoma City Renaissance is on and it is spreading. Just north of the city, the suburb of Edmond has joined this renaissance. The updated downtown area thrives with economic and cultural activity. Its schools are ranked as some of the highest in the nation. Its parks and recreation facilities are vast, providing a high quality of life for Edmond residents. And now, the Oklahoma City and Edmond Renaissance is taking another giant leap forward. The Armstrong International Cultural Foundation is pleased to announce Oklahoma's new home for world-class performing arts, Armstrong Auditorium. Now in its 13th season, the Armstrong International Cultural Foundation's Performing Arts Series brings the world's greatest performances to the heartland of America. The series has hosted some of the most renowned names in classical music, including such performers as the Vienna Boys Choir, the Eroica Trio, and the Canadian Brass. The Armstrong International Cultural Foundation is a nonprofit humanitarian organization. It is sponsored by the Philadelphia Church of God and is headquartered in North Edmond on the Herbert W. Armstrong College campus. The Foundation's concert series has distinguished roots. It is patterned after the Ambassador International Cultural Foundation's concert series, which brought excellence in the performing arts to Southern California. This series showcased the greatest performers from all over the world during the 1970s and 80s. Artists such as the Vienna Philharmonic, Luciano Pavarotti, Joan Sutherland, Vladimir Horowitz, and many other musical legends. These concerts were performed in the breathtaking Ambassador Auditorium in Pasadena. Ambassador was built in 1974 and soon after dubbed the Carnegie Hall of the West Coast. Concert goers and performers alike praised its acoustical perfection and warm, intimate atmosphere. Its founder and builder was Herbert W. Armstrong. World leaders knew him as an unofficial ambassador for world peace. He was also known as a great educator. He established three colleges during his long lifetime, one of which was home to Ambassador Auditorium in Pasadena. Mr. Armstrong was the founder of the Worldwide Church of God, the Plain Truth magazine, and the World Tomorrow television program. The World Tomorrow. After he died in 1986, the church he founded wanted nothing to do with Mr. Armstrong or the legacies he left behind. Eventually, the foundation was discontinued. The concert series ceased. Mr. Armstrong had spent two and a half million dollars a year to attract the finest artists in the world. Yet, with the financial demise of the Worldwide Church of God throughout the early 1990s, Church officials said they could no longer afford to subsidize the arts. Ambassadors' humanitarian projects around the world were stopped as well. But this rich cultural legacy did not die. It was resurrected in a suburb north of Oklahoma City. In 1989, Edmond resident Gerald Flurry was fired from the Worldwide Church of God for wanting to hold to the traditions of Herbert Armstrong religious and otherwise. He immediately founded the Philadelphia Church of God. In 1996, the church began a humanitarian department, then under the name of the Philadelphia Foundation. Its first project resurrected a program that the defunct Ambassador Foundation had left behind in Amman, Jordan. There, it served the Al Hussein Society for the rehabilitation of the physically challenged and the Young Muslim Women's Association for the Mentally Handicapped. Two years later, the foundation began another project closer to home, one meant to serve the citizens of central Oklahoma. 
The template was in place from the days of Ambassador. A performing arts series was born. It was a humble beginning, to say the least. The first events were held in a meeting room within the church's executive office suites near downtown Edmond. But the vision was big, that the series would one day grow to champion Oklahoma as a world-class center for the performing arts. In pursuit of this goal, the foundation set its sights on bringing monumental cultural experiences to Edmond. For the next few years, the series continued renting facilities at the University of Central Oklahoma, Edmund North High School, and Oklahoma Christian University. Then, in 2000, the Philadelphia Church of God purchased 160 acres just north of the Edmund city limits. The next year, it opened the doors of a small private liberal arts college. This institution was named after the philanthropist and educator whose legacy inspired it all, Herbert W. Armstrong. The college campus became the home to all the cultural activities of the foundation. To make its connection to the college more evident, the Philadelphia Foundation changed its name in 2006 to Armstrong International Cultural Foundation. Then, on January 6, 2008, the Foundation broke ground on Armstrong Auditorium, a magnificent $18 million concert hall modeled after Ambassador. The 823-seat auditorium is a cultural center of international scope. It has been painstakingly constructed of the finest quality materials imported from around the world, and it presents a peerless setting for enjoying the world's greatest performances. Gracing the entrance is the soaring Swans in Flight sculpture created by famed English sculptor Sir David Wynne. The bronze masterpiece depicts the five stages of a swan taking flight. Each bird weighs three quarters of a ton and has a wingspan from 13 to 15 feet. The sculpture sits amid a 120-foot reflecting pool. Six water jets cascade over the swans, giving the appearance of motion in flight. The grand lobby is adorned with Swarovski-trimmed chandeliers, Baccarat crystal candelabra, American cherry wood veneers, Spanish marble, and Persian onyx. Two Steinway concert grand pianos were hand-selected and imported from Hamburg, Germany. Armstrong Auditorium was designed by the Oklahoma City-based firm Reese Associates Incorporated, which was also responsible for designing the Rose State Performing Arts Center in Midwest City. The acoustical engineers for Ambassador Auditorium consulted the Armstrong Foundation, and they expect the new auditorium to meet, if not exceed, the same acoustical standards that Ambassador boasted. The eight-story concert hall sits near the intersection of Bryant Avenue and Waterloo Road, just one and a half miles east of Oak Tree National. Armstrong Auditorium opened with ceremonial splendor on September 5, 2010, when the Herbert W. Armstrong College Choral Union and full professional orchestra presented Mendelssohn's Elijah. The inaugural season continues with the Bayanihan Philippine National Dance Company, the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, the sensational Five Browns, pianist Andre Watts, the Russian National Ballet Theater performing Swan Lake, the Vienna Boys Choir, the National Philharmonic of Poland, the Anderson Row Piano Duo, and finally, the Grammy-nominated Eroica Trio. Oklahoma's grand renaissance continues. The Armstrong International Cultural Foundation is proud to take its place among Oklahomans who are committed to building a truly great community. With the completion of Armstrong Auditorium, the Foundation is fulfilling a major step in its mission to champion Oklahoma as a world-class center for the arts. We invite you to join us as we bring the world's greatest performances to the heartland of America.